everyone, my name is Jenna and today I want to help you to measure your body so you can pick the absolute best super flat honey sticky polar body. I will also show you where to find the size chart on the website and how to pick the best size for yourself. So let's go. First of all, you need a measuring tape. I will later also tell you some alternatives if you don't have a measuring tape at hand. But one of these would be the best and the easiest options. So when you get this one, you get three points to measure. We got our bust size, waist size and hips. We're starting up with the bust size. First of all, it would be handy not to wear any thick clothing or bra because we want to have our natural size and especially pole clothes are usually worn without a bra so it should be good if you would, wouldn't be wearing any clothes. So, the measuring tape goes around our body. Make sure first to put your hair away because you don't want to measure your hair. We are going around our shoulder blades, up here, not too high, not too low, just in the middle around the shoulder blades. From the side you can see it better, so probably do it in front of the mirror or with the phone camera as I'm doing. You're going below the armpits and you're measuring on the fullest part of your breasts. Go around the breasts and this is maybe adjust a bit and this is where you have to measure your bra size. So from here, gently look at the measuring tape. In my case it's 82 but I'm still wearing a bra so it would be probably about 80. And you get your size. Write it down immediately so you won't forget until you will head to the website. Very important, don't press the measuring tape onto your breasts so they will obviously get smaller and you will get a smaller measurement. You want to be relaxed and you want to have the most accurate picture of your body. So next on we got the waist. Our waist is the smallest part of our upper body. Uh, the waist starts somewhere below the rib cage and above our belly button. I'm very very small so there's actually only one tiny point where I can find my waist and again we're leaving our body relaxed, we're not trying to hold our breath or we're not sticking our belly out, we just want to have our body relaxed and just as it is naturally and we're putting the measuring tape around our waist and we're here looking it up and in my case it's a 68 and we're moving on to our hips. For the hips keep your legs closed and now it's a bit more difficult because there's a difference between the widest part of our hip and the widest part of our bum. We actually don't want to have the widest part of our bum, that will be a bit lower, it will be around here. We want to have hips. Hips is a bit up higher for me. First of all you feel the hip bone. Some people say your hip is around 8 centimeters below your waist, but that of course depends on your body size. So first of all hip bones and then you move down and you can feel the widest part before your legs will start and if you got that part you start measuring here. Now what's very important is you get the measuring tape straight around your body. That means we don't want to start around here and measure like up in the air, but we want to keep it straight and parallel to the floor and still get the widest part of our hip. So for me, the widest part of my hip would be 93.5. Up here, and this is the widest part of my hip. It almost looks like my leg would be wider down here, but this would already be my leg in this case, and my hip is up here. So really feel your own bones, as everybody is different. If you get these three measurements and you wrote them down, I will also tell you an alternative if you don't have a measuring tape. So, first of all, you need something to measure it with. If you don't have like an elastic, there is, <laughs> I don't really know the English word in German, it's called like measuring stick, so I will call it measuring stick. You need something to read on some centimeters. You can also take a ruler, whatever. But it's very, it's not very handy to put it around your body. So what you also need is something elastic, like a piece of yarn, a piece of fabric, or a belt. I choose a belt. And you can use it the same as you would use a measuring tape. Just put it gently around the body. Decide first if you want to use the upper or the lower side, in this case as the belt is quite wide. And put it around your body gently. Hold your finger at that point and then if you got the finger on the belt, you're putting it on my measuring stick 
and I got the exact same measurement of my waist. So from this on, we're now heading to the website and I'll show you where you find the sizing chart. You're on the Superfly Honey website. First of all, we are going all the way down until we can find customer care. It's actually the same on your mobile device. Below customer care, you can find care instructions and following the sizing guide. We're just clicking on it and here in the sizing guide, you can actually find sticky leggings, sticky bodies, knee pads, shoe skins and pole wear. So we are buying a sticky leggings today and to find our size, we're going to go to this list up here. We just took our hip measurements and my hip is 39.5 centimeters. So I'm going to the centimeter scale and I'm looking down and I'm seeing I need size S because my measurement is just in this category. So important to know if you're in between categories, it depends of if you want to have a quite relaxed fit or if you want to have a very, very slim fit, so you can choose one size up or one size down. With my measurements, I also do own a sticky Superfly Honey uh, leggings in size M, even if it's way bigger than my actual waist, but I just feel like it's comfortable to wear. So I also got one way bigger than I should have, but it still fits and it's still comfortable to pull with. But actually the size S is better on the pull. So I would advise you to order true to size. So if we want to also use our waist measurement, for example, for the sticky bodysuit, we're doing the same. We are right now again looking at our size right here. I'm quite in between sizes as my measurement was 69 between 70 so I could actually choose both sizes so I'm going over to the hips and now I feel like oh my gosh I'm almost at size M I'm exactly at 93.5 so I'm choosing the middle way and taking the bodysuit in S I actually do have a bodysuit in S at home and it just fits perfectly so you probably always have to see a bit in between your sizes to make a little compromise to get the right one and I'm sure it's going to fit. To quickly come back to the sticky leggings, um, when choosing your sticky leggings and you are very very tall, uh, make sure or note that there's also an option to get a longer sticky leggings so you will still be able to use this foot part over here because this one is until a height of 175 centimeters. If you're taller, you need to pick the tall legging size to still be able to use this foot piece. So I'm sure with this guide, you will be able to pick your own fitting Superfly Honey leggings. Have fun with it and bye!